Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm the Pink Moon Tarotist, and today I'm going to do a walkthrough for you of Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards by Colette Baron Reed. This is a 52 card deck, which is unusual for an oracle. They're usually around 44. It's a beautiful, um, sturdy box. That's the back of the box there. cards and the booklet inside the inside of the box is just plain let me just pop that to one side um you get these gorgeous cards which are slightly bigger than a regular tarot deck or a regular pack of cards they're, they're quite substantial sized as most oracle cards are and you get this wonderful booklet with it, which is a nice, thick, chunky booklet. And inside you have, um, you have the, all the cards, then about the artist and about the author at the back. So there's a note about the cards on the first page here going through, then how it works, and examples of readings that you can do and then it goes into the cards themselves with the explanation for each card and I think yeah these are quite full-on explanations they've got three pages dedicated to each card so it's quite an in-depth well, that one's nearly four it's quite an in-depth um, look into each card. There's a picture of each card there. Um, the cards are numbered, which I like, so that makes it easier to find them within the guidebook. Um, but as with most things, I would recommend if you read the, the book, um, but then just kind of connect to the cards and get your own meaning from them to do with... Um, to do with the reading that you are doing because sometimes sometimes the meaning of the card might be multi-layered in fact most of the time it is okay so without further ado we'll start with number one which is yin masculine energy yang feminine energy between worlds Love that. What's this called? A higher power. I really should look before I do go on to it. Orphaned. You see the number is in here. So we can see the number for each card. Not for you. I love that. I love that there's a little fortune cookie in there as well. <laughs> to the sea community treasure island unfinished symphony Aren't these beautiful like, look at that don't know if that's in focus or not whether it's my eyes or the camera. <laughs> Buy the book. Or if you're me, throw the book out and do it your own way. Um, a change in the wind. <clears throat> Fork in the road. We've all been there. Truth be told. Message in a bottle. All that glitters. It's actually all that glistens, but for the purposes of the card, it doesn't matter. The fates. That was the original quote, by the way. I'm just being pedantic now. Serendipity. F 
flexible. Image. No, imagine, not image. Clean it up. <clears throat> Blessed. Peace. Time for a nap. Round and round. People felt like we we're in that one as well. I love that. That's on the back of the cards, that round and round. Happy, happy. Joyous card. Exchanging gifts. This is so pretty. Probably because I like the little cat in it. Building blocks. Breathe, important, very important. Tick tock. Why? It's good to stop and ask why sometimes. Here and now, good reminder. Chaos and conflict. A leg up. How cute is that? It's just so gorgeous. I love polar bears. Loyal heart. It's so beautiful. Come to the edge. I love that. She looks so happy to be dancing on the edge there. Never ending story. To be fair, new life, co-create, soulmates, beautiful, I like penguins, chop wood. Deep knowing. Thinker. Time to go. I love that. She's skipping off into the sunset. Regeneration. That last card reminds me of Cinderella when she runs off in the ball. Go the distance. Poised. Observer. Isn't that gorgeous? No place like home. Milk and honey. <clears throat> Mending. And that's the last one. Now, when I first got these cards, I think because they're very, very glossy, these cards, and they were slightly tacky. So they did, you know, they did have a bit of a stick together moment. But it didn't take long to, uh, to unpeel them and be able to shuffle them. And they are quite large. So doing this kind of a shuffle for my little hands is not so easy. But it's not too difficult either because they're not massive. They are still ones that fit in my hands quite well. And they shuffle really, really nicely now. I mean, they're... It's a good cardstock. It is a glossy cardstock, um, but it's not overly glossy. So it's, you know, it's easy to manipulate. It's easy to shuffle. It is not a deck that um, that sort of slides all over the place, but it does, does slide and glide easily for a shuffle. 
Okay, so that was Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed It is available on Amazon. I will put a link in the comment box below. Um, it is an affiliate link and um, if enough people buy through my affiliate link, I do get a percentage. I don't know what that is, um, but uh, that's just to have full disclosure there. Um, <clears throat> It doesn't affect the price to you at all. The price is the same whether you use my link or you go in on your own and find it. But these are widely available in most bookstores. Um, it's by Hay House and they're still in print. So there's no um, there's no shortage of these ones as far as I know. That's the back of it. Okay, so that's your Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Namaste.